The provisional death toll announced late on Friday by the governor was at least 176 dead. Here in Ibushushu, 203 people bodies have already been removed from the rubble, said Thomas Bakinga, administrator of Kalehe territory where the affected villages are located. It was not possible to evaluate the full extent of the human losses and material damage, he told local media. Heavy rainfall in the Kalehe region of South Kivu province on Thursday caused rivers to overflow, causing landslides that engulfed the villages of Bushushu and Nyamubuk and Nyamukubi. The, uh, the hillside also gave way at Nyamubuki, where the weekly market was held. On Thursday, Bakinga added, in all, several villages were submerged, many houses washed away, and fields devastated when rivers in the region passed their banks due to the heavy rains. Congolese doctor and Nobel Peace Prize winner Dennis Mukenge, whose clinic is located in Ibokavu, the capital of South Kivu, said Thursday Saturday he had sent a team of surgeons and technicians to the area to provide the population with emergency aid. The disaster came two days after floods killed at least 131 people and destroyed thousands of homes in neighboring Rwanda. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres on Saturday offered his condolences to the victims of the catastrophic floods in Rwanda and Diara Congo. This is yet another illustration of accelerating climate change and its disastrous impact on countries that have done nothing to contribute to global warming, he said during a visit to Burundi. Experts say extreme weather events are happening with increasing frequency and intensity due to climate change. Thank you so much for watching.